welcome back to my channel. It is so lovely to have you. This is a little bit of a different video this morning, or it's actually this afternoon, but I'm not sure what time it's gonna be when you see it. So anyway, today, let's say today, it's gonna to be a slightly different video today because I wanted to show you the latest stuff that I got from Wool Warehouse. So, um, if you are very brand new to my channel or you have just stumbled across this video, hi, how are you going? My name is Ali and I am your host. I live in Australia on the East Coast with my hubby and our three awesome boys and I love all things craft. I love to crochet, I love all things yarny and I do so as well sometimes. So, if you have not already, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button just to the right of that so that you're notified of any new videos that I put up. And I'm also on Instagram. If you are on Instagram, I'll pop up my information here, head over and follow me there. So I think that's about all of the admin stuff. It will be a shorter video today. I just wanted to chat with you and show you my latest delivery from Wool Warehouse. It did arrive today and I'm super excited. So Wool Warehouse for you guys that don't know is located in the UK and it's super fast to get to me. It's around about seven days turnaround. The shipping is really good price and of course the yarn is amazing as well. So if you haven't already, please check out Wool Warehouse. Um, I highly recommend them. So I did grab some yarn, of course, but I did as well get um, some extra clover hooks in the size three and a half and a four because they are generally the ones that I use most for my amigurumi. If you have seen any of my past videos where I talk about amigurumi because that seems to be the only thing that I want to crochet at the moment, um, my clover hooks are actually the best for that. I love them because the shank is more of a matte finish. It's not a shiny finish, which means that my stitches tend to stay on and I don't lose them or I don't, you know, it's, it's much easier to glide through the yarn. So I just wanted to get some replacements, the three and a half and the four. Uh, the three and a half is definitely my most used hook as far as amigurumi goes. I use a 10 ply worsted Aran weight yarn. Um, and the four mil is for my chunkier yarn that I use um, as well. So I just wanted to get two of those replacements so that I've got some extra ones. And also I ended up getting some wool needles from Knit Pro. And the reason that I liked these ones, if you can see, they actually have these, it's so much easier to get the thicker yarn through. So I'm really excited to try those. They've got like a um, cable eye, but it's, it's, I think it'll be much easier to actually thread because I really hate threading. I hate threading yarn through, um, <laughs> thick yarn through tiny needles. So they are also, I'm going to try them out. So I'll let you know how I go with those. Another thing that I got from the, in my order was a color card for the stone washed. Now this is stone wash XL. Like I said, I like 10 ply um, yarn for my amigurumi and this is the Sheffia's stone washed and Sheffia's river wash color card. It was only a couple of dollars. So I thought I would whack that in my um, cart so that I can actually see what the colors look like um, when I am Deciding. So this is actually stone wash normal and river washed and then the XL. So I thought that was really good value because you're actually getting to see what the thinner stone wash looks like, but also the XL, which is what I use. So let's get into the yarny goodness. Oh, so exciting. So um, we'll warehouse. They come in these really awesome drawstring like bags, which is cool. Um, and like I said, I love them. I've ordered a lot from them before. So this is the new Sheppier's Chunky Monkey yarn. So it is a worsted 10 ply Aran weight yarn. And 
I got this to make a... So I've actually ordered uh, yarn in this particular box, in this particular bag for specific projects. So I'm going to make a little piggy out of this one. And so I needed... Um, I must have needed... Because she actually has a little shirt, a skirt on, I think. So I ended up... Ordering two of the pearl pink colour. And it feels really nice. So this is new from Sheffia's. It is anti-pilling, which looks pretty awesome. It is a looking like a little bit splitty, but I am hopeful that um, that just might be a little bit at the bottom and it might work out okay. Um, this is the first time that I've used this yarn. But yep, so this is pearl pink. It's really cute. It's like a dusty rose, which is looking very, uh, very true to colour there. And I also, so there, I got two balls of this. I got one ball of the rosewood, which is definitely like a deep plum colour, which looks super true to colour there. Run rosewood. Uh, this is Carolina blue. The yarn barfy skein that looks pretty true to colour as well, and the last one is mist, and it's a real sea foamy blue, uh, which is pretty much coming up true to colour. So these colours are going to be a little piggy, super cute, right? So I'll definitely keep you updated, and I will show you. Of course, I will show you my progress on my regular episodes of What's On My Hook. This runs, I think it's about $5, $5 Australian dollars a ball um, after conversion. So, comes in heaps of colours, super squishy and soft. So, if you have not already, um, I don't know how it works up because like I said, I've literally just, I'm unpacking it now. Um, I will definitely let you know. Um, but it's 100% premium acrylic anti-pilling, which is good because I think that's a problem with, with some acrylic yarns is that they actually do pill, which is totally not cool. And, sorry, the next thing that I bought, so I am so excited um, to be testing Rigby the Fox by... Um, beautiful Sarah from Sarah D Crochet. And so I needed to order some yarn for that. Now, if you have followed, if you head over to Sarah's Instagram, you will see all her beautiful amigurumi. Now she uses this yarn, the Sheffia's Stone Washed, but she uses it in the original color, uh, sorry, the original weight. So I think it's a sport weight. So this is looking also very true to colour. Now this is the XL, so it is an Aran weight 10 ply yarn. Again, I've not used this before, so I'm super excited, sorry, to use it, to try it out. So this is the colour Obsidian. And it's a really nice chocolate colour. Moonstone is a really lovely creamy colour. And I don't know, this one doesn't have a, it just has color 856. Coral, it is. Now, this is 70% acrylic, sorry, 70% cotton, 30% acrylic. So it's a cotton acrylic blend. Um, and it actually feels really soft. And squishy. So I have spoken before about the fact that I don't really love just cotton yarn. I find it's actually quite hard and rough. But this is actually really soft and squishy. And, and I don't know if you can see there, but you can. There is quite a nice little halo on top. So this is the coral colour. So these three colours are going to make Rigby the Fox. And the other thing that I like about these balls is that they come with a little centre pull 
an easy start center pull, which is very awesome. So I got these and I also thought I wanted to make a sort of like an Arctic wolf version. So I got Moonstone again for the face. And this time I got Amazonite, which is a really nice, um, like a duck egg blue, which is really, really lovely. It looks really nice. And a smoky quartz, so a really nice grey. Now these come in 50 gram balls. So that's going to be my winter arctic wolf um, version of Rigby, which is so cool. I cannot wait to get started. I'm so excited. So Sarah emailed me the pattern yesterday to test, but I was waiting, waiting, waiting for my yarn, thinking, oh my gosh, when is it coming? So I'm super, super excited. I'm going to definitely get this on the hooks, um, on the hook this afternoon, and now to work out whether I'm going to do the wintry um, Arctic Fox version of him or the Rigby the Fox I might do I don't know I'm so confused so I'm really excited to try out this yarn um, like I said I've not actually used either of the Sheffia's stone washed XL or the Chunky Monkey yet so I'm really excited to try them out for Amigurumi I kind of have settled into the as a generalization, I do prefer the 10 ply yarn for my amigurumi. I feel like it's heaps easier on my hands. Um, and I like the size that they come out. So they're not too small, but they're not super huge, like the chunky blanket yarn as well. So I think it's a nice, like it's a nice happy medium. So I'm so excited to get started and I definitely will keep you guys updated on my progress. So that is my Wool Warehouse haul. If you have not ordered from them, I really, they are a really good company to order from. Like I said, it's seven days roughly turnaround from the UK to Australia, which is amazing. And the prices are really good and the quality of yarn or the choices the yarn choices are amazing. I can only imagine what their bricks and mortar store looks like. It must be incredible because I can spend hours and hours browsing the website, searching through different yarns, looking at different things to try. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a video today just to show you the latest, um, the latest things that I got. And of course, just to, yeah, just to let you know that if you have not already and you're in Australia, um, because I know that some of my subscribers are from Australia and we are very limited as far as yarn choices go from a commercial sense that aren't really ridiculously expensive. So I definitely recommend Wool Warehouse. They are not paying me for this video. I have bought this, um, I've bought all of this yarn with my own money. It is purely just my opinion and an opportunity for me to share with my subscribers um, just some information on places that I like to buy yarn. So I hope that this video finds you well. Um, I also would encourage you to spend some time over the next couple of days making some something that makes your heart truly happy. Be blessed and I will talk to you soon. See ya. Thank you.